this is work. <laughs> Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. Today I'm gonna make crepes for breakfast. I haven't made crepes in more than 10 years. It's been a long time. I can't even remember how to do this, but we're gonna wing it. I know I need to melt butter, that much I know. So let's start with that. I used my phone to zoom in to make sure I had the right measurement of milk. Oops, that's the type of time we're on. Most recipes that I checked online don't ask for vanilla extract, but the amount of eggs you need, we need to cancel out of that. They're so much easier to make than pancakes or waffles. They only have five ingredients, six if you include this, and they're very multi-purpose. Now the hard part is, the last time I used to make crepes was when I was managing at an ice cream shop that made crepes. So I actually had a crepe machine, a creperie. That's not what it's called. But now <laughs> we're gonna try the frying pan method. So I did not remember though that I'm supposed to allow this mixture. Is that an eighth of a teaspoon? When you get to such small measurements, it's so hard to know, you know? I have to allow this to chill for 30 minutes in the fridge. As soon as I read that, I'm like, how could I forget that important part? I could have done that while I was in the shower. So I'm gonna blend this. After I melt this, 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 that's everything, right? Maybe it's not a good idea to use this. It smells like my burner is burning. Whew. Are you ready? I need more. How's this recipe supposed to make 12? Ooh, uh, so let that sit for a bit. Here goes. Flip with confidence. Hey, if only my omelets could be this easy. I only do 30 seconds on the second side, but I do more than a minute. I'm just gonna make sure the ish is cooked. Lift, tilt, pour, swivel. Yeah, how happy I am knowing that I still got my crepe game on. Like, I literally haven't done this in 12 years. To go out with that, mm. while my tea steeps, let's try out this treat. Doesn't that look so pretty? I'm proud of myself. Okay. That Nutella was on its last leg though, I can't even lie. Mmm. Better than I remember. I'm not mad at this and I have four other shells I can make. I might have a second one. I can't even lie, because they're so lightweight. I'm obsessed with this mirror, but not the price. When I zoomed in, I said, oh, not today. of their headboards they're so pretty literally look at this this is heaven <laughs> i already put my beef and my salmon away could you believe those little bit of groceries cost me more than 20 dollars toronto ain't cheap i keep telling you toronto ain't cheap i also got some chocolate hazelnut spread i wanted to try the farm boy brand instead of nutella since that nutella i put in the crepe is tasting a little bit old if i keep it real with you and then they didn't have regular seasoning so i zoomed in and i got fish and seafood seasoning so we'll see how this tastes with the salmon tomorrow i'm excited to try something different the maple salmon the other day turned out so good <sighs> but i don't feel like having sweet salmon this week so i hope that that gives it a nice little spicy 
I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Oh, it's glass? Okay, it better be for $5. I mean, $5 for this? <laughs> I wanna be the most organized version of myself in 2022. I'm currently listening to a pod from Lovely Tea, my favorite YouTube channel. And she's talking about Kanye yet again. Have you seen the doc? It's so good. I need to finish filming my TikTok. I wrote out the big can for that. Okay, literally this, I could have just eaten it instead of transferring it. I need to start editing the vlog. It's definitely not gonna be up by today, but that's okay. Mondays, I think are a better day to upload the weekly vlogs because it gives me that buffer so that it's up during the day instead of at night when I'm usually done editing. Oh, I was also listening to a podcast about the Freedom Convoy. I'm so out of the loop for Canadian news. I really miss the What in World series I used to do because I used to stay on top of it. Tech, Canadian, world news, pop culture. I've really fallen off the wagon this year, but I'm just trying to get back, I'm trying to get back. Organization, we just lip gloss because my lips are so dry. Summer Friday, if you want to sponsor your girl, I'd be more than happy to because I'm always talking about how good this lip gloss is. But as part of decluttering my place, just have space, not for more, just have space so it feels cleaner. I also really want to buy the headboard I showed you at West Elm. Guess how much it costs? I'm going to put three options up on the screen. By the time I'm finished pouring this in, we'll see if you get guessed right. There's barely anything in here. Okay. This one is really going through it. A lot of my plants. <laughs> I mean, you know, a couple weeks ago, I was in a mi really miserable mood. I think they mirrored that too. I love avocados. Since I marinated some of this beef, you know, the cost of beef really went up and it stuck. We're on that taco tip. I made a mistake. I was not supposed to put all the marinade in this. I was supposed to save half to make as the glaze, but we'll wing it. Of them all. I always get mad when I mix it up with parsley because I do that pretty often. Sometimes I don't have the time to zoom in on the tag. And because they're always side by side and they look similar, I get so mad when I come home because I, fresh parsley and me, don't agree. Dry parsley in a good Italian dish, I'm with it. But fresh parsley, I tried, I tried to make it work. I even looked up a recipe with parsley to make it work and it didn't work. But what we're gonna do is just take off a little bit Yo, I've never seen such a big, never have I ever seen such a huge cilantro thing. Ew. The only thing is my house is gonna stink. I hate cooking beef. I think I hate it worse than cooking fish. The smell just lingers. I should wear a bonnet. I don't even own a bonnet. Most. I wish I had something to make a margarita, but I don't, so I'm just having some lychee juice. Totally not Mexican, but that's okay. So good. It's also really, really sweet. Anyway, I already had my first bite. These are so bomb. Whatever recipe I was going off before had nothing on this one. Morning, loves. I thought today was Sunday. I was like, why is my alarm going off so early? But it's actually... Monday. Sorry, let me get myself in shot. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a workout. I was worried because Mondays are always busy at the gym, but of course it's a holiday. No one is here. To the corner you go. I don't know why people put it here because this is where most people do their mat work. <laughs> These are part of my Amazon favorites must-haves. So I'm gonna use it for my upcoming TikTok, but also because I just did a good workout set. Add some extra protein to my diet. Keep forgetting that today's a holiday. Why do they call it family day? Of all the names they could have named the holiday. What about people who don't have a family or aren't good with their family or have recently lost a family member? They should call it something else. I really wanna go skating today, but I'm afraid if I go, 
first of all, it's sunny. So who knows if that means that it's actually an actual nice day or if it's just Toronto being Toronto and looking nicer than actually what it is. But I'm afraid because it is family day, there's gonna be a lot of kids on the rink. And since I can't see very well, and kids don't care, they don't business. You know, one thing about children is when they're having fun, everything else, everyone else disappears. I'm going to, should I do honey? Do I even have agave anymore? Yes. Ooh. Hey. Bing. It's minutes to four. I only finished editing my video now. You can hear my computer is struggling to try to render it. I just took in, I made a mistake. It's supposed to be rendering in 4K. I don't think my computer can handle that. The way it's sounding, that fan is on level high. Oh my gosh, but let me just see. If my computer doesn't explode, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna take at least an hour to upload this. I'm scared which puts me three hours behind schedule of when I was supposed to upload. This day's not going the way I planned. I kind of wasted some time this morning when I should have been focusing on this. Uh, I only have myself to blame. By now I should have finished my two pods. I also want to start doing weekly affirmations on Patreon. And I was supposed to film a bonus Patreon video today. Ugh. It's Monday. Even if it's a holiday, it's still Monday. Well, now that I'm done editing, no, I'm not. I have to do the thumbnail. I was like, I get to take these off because sometimes these make my eyes hurt more than they help. Because you already know, I can't see any better with them, but it's the blue light blocking for me. But even then, sometimes I'm like, yo, why do my eyes feel this way? <sighs> enough, enough, enough. This is my, I reached my quota of complaining in this vlog. So the rest of it, at least you get a complaint free A. A. So I went on a little half an hour walk. You saw that little snippet I showed you guys. Nothing much going out on those streets. I thought it would be busier, but I did pass by the restaurant that just opened, I'm guessing this weekend. Also, I haven't walked that way in a long, long time, so who knows? All I do know is people in this neighborhood sure love Italian food because that's like the fifth restaurant that's Italian food based. I would love to have a new Caribbean spot, like a really Fancy, bougie Caribbean spot open up in this neighborhood, but that'll probably never happen. This is not tonight's dinner. I'm gonna eat the rest of the tacos I made yesterday. Those are so good, I can't wait, but I'm gonna shower first. But before I do, I just wanted to pop these in the oven. My mom bought me these potatoes. I wonder if she bought me them because they're tiny and it's less the cut, you know. She's always concerned about life legally blind, so I, it, I always wonder, I'm like, why does she always buy these small potatoes? Because when I go to the supermarket, I just buy like three or four big ones. But she always buys the bag for me. And I just realized while I'm cutting them, I only have to cut them once, really. I'm just cutting off some of them because they sprouted. But if they didn't, I'd literally just cut them in half. Like, so simple. I might just start buying these myself. No. I can't get up. This is like a mummy move. Going for healthier breakfast today. I'm finally making my way here only to realize I left my gift card at home. Looks like Zara's switching over. It's a soup kind of day, seeing as it's super gloomy. That's not just the exposure on my camera. It is really that dark up in here. Ooh, I'm gonna add some milk. Milk, milk, milk. A little bit of oat milk to my hot chocolate. The only thing is 
I love oat milk, but it is a very overpowering flavor. I took the bus back from the subway. Usually I walk, but I was like, the rain is too much, even with my coat and my umbrella. Mm -mm -mm. I think last week, whenever I got it, it's all right. It's called Three Thieves. Probably would not buy again. I should have known from the name, but I figured since it's scamming season with all of the Netflix shows, why not? Three Thieves Chardonnay. If you've tried this wine, let me know how you like it. Can you see or no? It's all right. I can't show you the other side because my dress is on it, but who opened my mail? This is my T4. Hey, I'm in a frumpy vibe, so the outfit's also gonna be frumpy. Morning, guys. Being on the stationary bike took me out. Truthfully, it's my cycle. Cycling on my cycle, that almost took me out. Because, no, would not recommend. Zero out of 10 would not recommend, but I did, I really wanted to get my workout in. This towel is the bane of my existence. It drops 25 times a day. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to have a crepe with some bananas. I went for a little hour-long walk. It was really cold. I didn't bring gloves. Otherwise, I would show you some of the scenes. I was just around my neighborhood and I was just, hopefully you can see me because usually I don't sit on my couch, but I feel like I should because the setup is so chic. Anywho, I was on my little walk of the day. I want to get back into that. I fell off hard. Anyway, and I was just appreciative because I didn't tell you guys this before. And I told my cousin, she's like, wow, I never knew that but I always wanted to live in this neighborhood. There's two parts of Toronto I always wanted to live in when I was a little kid. Downtown by the waterfront, harbor front, and usually you'll see in the blogs when I'm going to meditate or still my mind, I go there because something about being by the water just does it for me. And then this neighborhood, Wine E, when I was little, my mom would take my brother and I here to the bookstore and to the movie theater and it would be our weekend adventure. And because of that, I always had this attachment to this neighborhood. So I did say this is supposed to be quick, but I can't help it as per usual. So let's see what's inside. Always a feast. Yeah, it's just, but I like the hair. What? Oh wow, you really do? Why do you go I so know. far for that? Because when they <laughs> Wow. Okay. Same here. Wow. He wants so, human food. I probably should take a picture before. One, there's that. Two, good morning. Three, how is it 11 o'clock already? I feel like I've been up for centuries. Hopefully they take a lunch break or something real soon and I can get the 10 minute intro in. Stay authentic. Hey, thank God the construction stopped long enough for me to film not one, but two videos. They will be on Patreon and it'll be an introduction of the video that was supposed to be posted today, but I'm probably gonna post tomorrow, which is not bad. Friday and Saturday video. It'll be up when it's up and it'll be stuck. Now I'm gonna go switch up because obviously this was just for film session. Can you see that I sewed this a couple years ago? That's how you know, this was my favorite white top back in the day. I know they sell tons of oversized t-shirts or dress shirts or whatever you wanna call this cheesecloth material thing, but it's not as soft as this one. That's just my excuse for keeping it. But I can never wear it out of my house because it's so obvious. I mean, it's probably obvious on the camera. I just can't see that well. So we'll see when I start editing that tonight. But I'm gonna make some hamburgers. Drink your water, guys. I love when groceries come in a paper bag. It gives me such a rich yet retro vibe, like, the good old times of 90s TGIF for one Saturday morning. If you know, you know. If you don't, I'm getting too old. But I'm super excited. Are you seeing this? 
I only got two because I called my stepdad. He went on the website and found the whole category of all the different flavors, which is so weird because I tried finding it myself last week and I couldn't. He read it out to me. He sent it and told me to zoom in. And I got so excited about like the maple flavor, the blue cheese. And they didn't even have any of those. So I just got the two basic flavors, but I'm sure they'll be tasty. I'm starving. So at this point, anything is going to be amazing. Of course, bananas. When am I not getting bananas? Basil. I had to pick some up because the last time I really needed basil, I went to three different grocery stores and it was all sold out. I said, is there a basil shortage? Just like the beef, just like the oil and a whole bunch of other things happening. <sighs> I'm so excited that the last time I had one of these was December 31st, 2021. I was so scared I made it really well done. Isa movie night. Isa Isa movie night. We got the snacks on deck. I'm also gonna make some popcorn. Do I wanna melt butter? Is there any point since it's not salted? I'll do, ooh, <laughs> the belly button still hurts. I will do avocado oil and sea salt. Before I popped you guys on to check in with you, I was listening to a podcast about what's going on in Ukraine. I was also talking to Marcus about it yesterday. If I didn't tell you, my good friend who lives in Sweden, is also a journalist, so he's always in the loop with what's going on internationally. It's really, it's a shame, like, I'm just thinking about all the Ukrainian people I've met in my lifetime, and they've all been so sweet and just so down to earth. And I would hate to know if I had a family member living in my home country going through this stuff right now. So prayers to Ukraine. I had a friend from... <clears throat> I had a friend from Georgia who used to tell me stories about what happened with them in Russia. Oh my gosh. Looks like a foggy day, but that lets you know is a lot of snow. As you can tell, I'm really into the glassware aesthetic for drinkware. Last night I showed you these. They look so much better in the daylight. I'm so excited to do. <sighs> this is how you know. You're a content creator when you're excited about getting things like props instead of just enjoying them for every day. You're like, this is gonna look so good on TikTok or this is perfect for my next reel or I'm gonna show it in my YouTube video. I'm heating up the oven because I'm gonna make a crepe. I'm just undecided. Should I do cinnamon sugar? or another chocolate hazelnut strawberry banana since I got all those fresh strawberries yesterday. In the GMO, how do these look as good as a July strawberry? I literally have, I remember when my stepdad would take my brother and I to the strawberry fields to pick. Such a fun activity, I wanna do that this summer. And even those strawberries fresh off the little bushes. Yo, he put us to work, eh? Cause those buckets you have to pay a lot of money for. And of course we're Caribbean, so we don't wanna waste our coins. But we'd be out there picking the best strawberries and they look just like this. That's why this is tripping me out. There should be no point in time where February strawberries look this good. So I don't know where they've been hiding these, but I'm happy. I need to find a home for these. I'm not really big on Pure Life. I feel like it tastes like dirtier than tap water. I don't mind tap water, but Everyone keeps telling me, stop drinking tap water. Toronto water is clean, but not that clean. So I'm like, okay, fine. I prefer Aska, but maybe that's because I'm biased because they used to give us Aska for free at the restaurant. So let's clean up this situation a little bit. A little bit. You know what? I used to have this down here for like two years. It was my candy stash 
not much there. And now I get to add the sugar patch kids, sugar patch kids, sour patch kids. Here I am trying to do three things. I'm trying to clean out my kitchen. Didn't even finish the popcorn yesterday. I'm trying to make my breakfast great. And I was also supposed to be filling up and restocking my cream of Earl Grey matcha. I'm all over the place, literally all over the place. David gave me these. I love dried fruit. I shouldn't have too much mango because it has so much vitamin A. Listen, when I was in fifth grade, it was one of those split classes. Have you ever had one of those? Five and grade six in the same class, which is so disruptive when it comes to things like math and science where you're learning more in grade six and grade five. Anywho, there was like a teacher in training. She wasn't necessarily a supply teacher. We'll call her an assistant teacher, although I know that's not what she was called. And I was a shy kid who was starting to get out of her shell, which is like the worst kind of kid because those kids don't know how to shut up. So because I would talk so much and sometimes unfortunately talk over her, she labeled me as ADHD. I did like the whole testing thing a couple times a week. They put me in the classroom next door where there was nobody and I'd be one on one with somebody and I'd be so annoyed because I wanted to be with my friends learning at the same pace, not drawing a picture of what it's like to eat dinner in my place. It was so annoying. Like maybe they were on to something. Maybe we were all a little ADHD, but some of us just get better at suppressing it. So anywho, fruits are prepped. Maybe I'll get another plate because that's looking a little chaotic there. So when the crepe is done, then I can put it here. In the meantime, let me pour up some matcha. I did to make some Brussels sprouts and a Buddha bowl for lunch. Going for a healthier breakfast today. I wanted to try Pico. I think I mentioned that to you earlier in this vlog, but I also want to try it with someone. I don't want to just have that experience solo since I've been wanting to try it for a while. I also got black peppercorns to put into the pepper mill to make sure it works. And let's talk about Advil, because you know, my cycle's kicking my butt. So I got this and it was on sale. It was still $20. This is usually $32. How is that possible? What the package directions are, couldn't see it. I'll need to use my phone. I'm guessing it's the same as any other pizza. I was just intrigued because it says crispy and I'm all about a crispy crust. I think soggy crust is the worst. Do you prefer deep dish or thin? I want to know. Because I think I haven't had the right deep dish yet. I hope this is not deep dish. It's looking and giving deep dish. Oh no. Did I read this wrong? I probably did. I zoomed in though. Crispy pan pizza. So it should still be crispy, but it also is giving thick with two C's. We'll see. <laughs> Morning loves. Oh my gosh. So here I am so stressed thinking the gym's going to be packed. It's a max of three people, even though there's so much space to have the whole six feet or whatever. And look, no one's here. The lights turned on when I came in. Let's do heavier weights today. But yeah, as I was saying, I've never gotten here this late. Usually this is when I'm wrapping up my sesh, but I didn't even sleep in. I woke up at 730. I just found myself doing other things in my house.
teaching, so rude. I did my core, I'm just gonna do my arms and my legs and then I'm done. I'm getting stronger, I can tell. That gym life though, if I don't go as soon as I wake up, I probably won't make it. That's straight facts. I hate the gym. Did you know that? Everyone thinks I love gym. I love working out. I love yoga. I like yoga. I don't like the gym. I don't like working out. But I force myself to because I know it's part of a healthy lifestyle. Anywho, we're going to make a iced matcha latte. I'm super excited because I'm going to use my new glass. And I wanna go and do something. It's cold, but it's sunny and I feel like I should enjoy it. Cause yesterday I went when the sun was down, it wasn't the same. I gotta do a return. I'm also thinking, it's been two weeks. Saturday's the worst day to get your nails done though. But these, when I was combing out my curls, <laughs> the curls were getting stuck in between. It's starting to lift. So getting two matchas that are almost done. I find whenever I take these out of the packets, there's always a little bit left. So I save it. Cause you saw me emptying it out yesterday. Uh, Ooh, not ladylike. I'm really missing Montreal and Marrakesh and Antigua and Paris and Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Just everywhere I've ever been. I really want to go to Peru. Two of my friends recently went and they're in, well, one of them doesn't have Instagram, but the way he described it, I was just like, wow. The other one's Instagram doesn't even look like real life. It looks like those screensavers when you go into Best Buy and you're trying to buy a new flat screen. It's look how much came out of the bottom of the pack. That's a lot. I would have thrown that away. ADHD is kicking in right now. <laughs> I love these. I ended up not watching any documentaries or shows on Netflix. I might watch Genius tonight, depending on what I get up to. But I was watching Lovely's Tea documentary on Playboy. Whoa. I had to turn that off. It was getting too late and I was getting too scared. Did you know? I don't even want to get into it. I'm, I feel like saying it out loud. <laughs> you, one thing you need to know about me, guys, is I get scared so easily. It's ridiculous. I remember when I was a kid. Okay, I wasn't even really a kid. I was like a teen. I don't know why The Exorcist was on regular TV, but I watched it. And when I tell you I waited for my mom to wake up before I went to sleep because I was afraid something was going to come for me. Like, I don't play. <laughs> and then also when I was a kid, so this is when I was little, my mom loved The X-Files. That theme song, I used to run into my room and close the door because I was so scared of hearing it. And then I would come back five minutes later and watch it because I loved spending time with her. I don't know why I'm always, I've always been so scared about these things. I remember in middle school, there was a supply teacher one day for our music class and they allowed us to watch movies and someone for some reason brought the ring, did not sleep for a week. And also when the music teacher came back, she cussed us off rock. She was also our fellowship teacher. And that's how I got closer to God. Like my grandma was always like super Christian. So I go to church with her. But like how I found my own path with God after. It was so good to have that community, especially since I fell out with my friends from elementary school when I moved to middle school. So it was good to have that experience there. I remember someone showed me like Emily Rose, like just the trailer did not sleep for two days. Like I don't play. I don't know if it's cause I'm such a vivid person. And it's not because Oh, I can imagine more because I can't see. Because some people have said that to me and I'm like, no, I'm just a freaky cat. <laughs> um, that wasn't as... <sighs> Wow, I'm 
so happy I stumbled upon that salon. It's in my old neighborhood, so we're literally walking down memory lane. Look at the job she did. I love the color. I was so undecided between three different colors and she chose this one for me. It's a vibe. Even though that place wasn't aesthetic as the place I usually go to, it was way cheaper and I think she did a better job too. Oh, the rink is still closed. What happened this year? It's getting dark in here. I love unexpected walks like that. I kind of want to make the pepper shrimp that I mentioned to you guys three vlogs ago because you know we went all the way to the Asian grocery store in the West End. I got adobo. Is that even what it's called? I would pull it out but I can't read the label so forget that. I can't get over my nails. I'm really in love. She did such a good job. I'm still shook. I don't know if you could hear me when I was walking out there for this color. It's giving Samoan Sand by OPI which is one of my favorite shades. You can never go wrong with nude nails. I was going through and deleting all my old Instagram stories because there's a lot and it's taking up 14 gigabytes of my phone storage. Some of the nail polish choices in the past, just some of my story stories and story choices in the past. You could really see the change from 2017 to now though. Two worst sounds on the planet. Three, fire alarm when you're not expecting it because that ish is scary when they're testing it, not real fire alarms. And two, microwave. Why can't the microwave sing like the drying machine? You know those drying machines that do a little whole tune for you? Yeah, I wish that was the case with the microwave. And three, perhaps the worst of all, the iPhone alarm sound. See what I'm saying? I zoomed in and I said best before a year ago. salon figured since I didn't do my petty at the salon today that I'd give myself a little DIY pedicure <sighs> wish me luck the last time I did this it was rough as a duck but <laughs> Saturday night is perfect for a little self-care it's crazy to think a couple of years ago I'd be out in those streets <sighs> in my 20s wow I was always out and about I wish I started vlogging earlier on in my life completely different than what you see now it's funny that I decided to start during a panorama when not that much is going on. But going through my old Instagram stories shows me how much I was out in them streets. I remember my mom I was asking me, how many friends do you have? You're going to a birthday every week. It was literally every week and it was somebody else's birthday. That's how it is when you're going to school and you're working in the industry, whether it's retail or restaurants or whatever. But now things have slowed down and quieted down and I don't mind. You know what? It gives me time to work on myself literally and figuratively and more importantly to find what I want for my future because we do create our own destiny, right? Uh, do you believe in fate? I don't know if I do. Not too sure. Yo, I can't see what I'm doing, but I can feel that this is rigid. The pressure will make you feel. The 90s were simpler times. I still can't believe what's going on across the globe, seriously. It's really sad, man. All the things we've seen in this lifetime. If I have kids and them kids have kids, what would I tell my grandkids? That's crazy. Anywho. You know how I do. This is the end of the vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow, aka next week. I hope you enjoyed spending another week with me. If you did, don't forget to tap the like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.